Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to set up these AOT blade handles. I think I have everything printed out to get started so let's begin. Alright so to get started we're going to take the back of the handle or also known as the wire side of the handle. You can identify that by this piece here which has the wire. And we're going to insert a spring for the handle. That goes here. And when you slice your files, make sure you leave this area in here hollow or you'll have a hard time inserting the spring. All right, next up is this registration square. This is in the event that you might not want to use screws. It will help you line up um, the two parts in case you want to glue them together. Next is the triggers. I'm just going to put them in place. And you want to put the shorter leg of the triggers facing downwards. So, to put them into place here, you need to kind of uh, pre tension them and push them in. like that and just to check um, you can move them around make sure that they can move freely uh, you want to remove all the support below it so it has free range of motion next we'll start assembling the hammer and to do so we'll take the pin for the hammer and insert it this is the pin for the hammer We'll zoom in to show it off a bit better. Not to be confused with the bigger one, which is for the lever. All right. So we'll get this one out of the way. Let's place it in the handle. There is a flat side to the pin. Might be a little bit difficult to see on camera, but I'm sure you can see it on your version a bit better. And you want to line it up with the flatter side of this cutout here. So I'll do just that. There we go. I want to make sure it's pushed in all the way. And after that, we'll insert the hammer. All right, so now that we have the pin in, we'll insert the hammer like so and here's where you have a couple of options you can go with the 3d printed spring which would be a pair of these or you can use a metal spring with this spring aligner so I'll show how to use both of them okay so for the 3d printed spring you'll insert them in this orientation kind of standing so I'll just push them in here, like that. I'll zoom in. So once you have both of them in there, you can see that they'll have a substantial amount of feedback for a 3D printed spring. Otherwise, what you can do is use a metal spring. So for that, we'll need to glue in just one part. First, I'll take off the hammer. You want to glue in this trigger guide first. And I'll just be using super glue. We're going to push it in like this. And you want to make sure that the spring hole is facing inside of the handle. Just a bit of super glue here. Push this in. And now I'll wait for it to dry before I move on to the next step. 
Okay, so now that that piece is dried, we'll insert the spring here and we'll put the hammer back in. We'll just push the spring in for a second while I place the hammer. And there we go. You can see that this one has a lot more tension. So now the final step will be to insert the pin for the handle, which is this one. We're going to push it in through this hole here. Like that. And we'll place the brake handle into the pin, but we're also going to use this platform here to push the spring up. Okay, so now that we have this spring in, here's what our handle should look like. It can still move freely. And last thing will be to insert our wire or a bungee cord in this case into this hole here. So all I've done is I tied um, the end of the wire. Sorry if it's not focusing. I tied the end of the wire and I'll just push it in here. So to wrap things up, all we'll have to do now is place this top of the handle over should snap into place because of our registration square I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and tight shouldn't have much more of a gap other than this our handle works the hammer works and so do our triggers So at this point you'll have the wire left with this piece. You can trim down the wire or bungee cord to your desired needs. I'll probably cut it down to this. And you can glue that in if you're happy with that length. Last will be inserting the pommel, which is pretty simple. You kind of just push it in. Okay, so finally, you can just insert the screws into these holes here and glue on your handle patterns on both sides. And that's it. We're done with the tutorial. Thank you for watching. In the description you can find a link to all the items I used.